Hello, my name is Danielle. You are watching Anime. Today we are going to be unboxing a figure I received from Ami Ami. And then as well, I thought it would be a fun thing if I brought you guys along with me as I tried to take a nice photo of the figure so I could post it to Instagram because I have not posted to my Instagram in a very long time. So this video is really just to motivate me to take a photo for Instagram. Um. <laughs> But before we get into any of that, I want to take this opportunity to show off this limited edition fairy tale postcard. And you might be asking me, Danielle, how did you get that? And the answer is I got it off of Yahoo Japan Auctions with the help of today's sponsor, Bai. Bai is a proxy service. They will buy or bid on items on your behalf on Japanese online marketplaces like Amazon Japan and Yahoo Japan Auctions. I definitely would not have been able to get this postcard otherwise, so I was super happy when I was able to get it through Bai. And if you are interested in Bai, you can go to the link in my description below, and first time Bai users will actually get a 2,000 yen off coupon. So definitely would recommend you check that out. That's like 20 bucks that you can apply to any purchase on Bai. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> And with that all said, I wanted to say thank you to Bai for sponsoring this video, as well as giving me an excuse to show off this postcard again. And now let's get to the actual video. So for reasons I already talked about in my last video, I was not able to get the majority of my Ami Ami order, but I was able to get a single figure. So that is what we are opening up right now. So here's the Ami Ami card. Oh, this is very cute. Okay. <laughs> are you kidding? That's my reaction to like the box, by the way. It's super cute. Oh my God. So thank you so much to a subscriber who reached out to me on Twitter and was like, hey, by the way, I noticed that you are looking for this figure and they are on pre-owned Amiami. And I was like, oh God. And then I immediately went and bought that figure because yeah, of course I did. <laughs> so today we're gonna be working with Miko from the Hanairo Gromo line of figures made by Stronger. I do plan on getting the entire set of Vocaloid figures. I'm super excited for that. She is the first one that I have received. So we are just gonna get this opened up now because I'm super excited. Oh my God. Wait, look at the background they provided. Oh, wow. Dude, this is actually insane. Why does everyone not have this entire set? And then of course the base is absolutely gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I cannot wait to get the rest of them. This is honestly incredible. And I'm going to just put a bunch of B footage over this entire thing because I don't know how to explain how amazing this is in words. I'm no review channel. <laughs> So now we are gonna move on to trying to get a nice photo of her that I can post to my Instagram and thank everybody for a thousand followers, which was kind of crazy. Thank you for that. And with that, let's get started. To start, I set up my lighting because by the time I was doing this, it was dark out and my room lighting on its own is clearly not sufficient enough. And then I put down a white blanket to cover up all the damage I had done to my table by doing my nails on it. The plan was to set up this chair with a bunch of Sakata flowers hanging down from it. I originally got the Sakata flowers to decorate my room, but I really just couldn't find a way to make them look nice, so they've just been hanging around on the floor. Then when I got this figure, I just thought they would look so cool together, so that's, that's the plan. Then I had this light that my dad gave me and I wanted to use it to illuminate the back of the flower so that it would create a cool effect. It kind of worked. And then I got to taking photos. My method is really simple. It's just take a photo, see if you like it and make adjustments, see if you like it again, and then keep on doing this over and over and over again until eventually you get a photo that you like, hopefully. Then after deleting all of the blurry photos, I uploaded them to my computer to see if I liked any of them and I was kind of happy with them, kind of not. I tried editing them to see if I would like them better but was still pretty unsatisfied so I decided to do another round of taking photos. 
Then, to motivate myself to start the process all over again, I decided to make myself a drink. So, in there is just some frozen mangoes and ice. Then I added vodka, some lemon lime or lemon bubbly, I don't know. And lastly, some grenadine syrup, which is it's a solid drink. I'd recommend it. And then I just got to shooting again, trying out different angles, moving the figures, the flowers, and even the light in the background. I just took as many photos as I could to try to get at least one. I even tried using my phone's flashlight to get some more light on the front. Yeah, you just try everything. That's, that's the method I go for anyways. Okay, so it has been a couple of days since I filmed the last part. I thought that we could sit by my computer for a change of scenery. After I had taken all of the photos, I went about editing with this app I use on my phone called Afterlight. Yes, using Photoshop or like an equivalent program would be a lot better, but I've been using Afterlight for years, so it's what I'm most comfortable with. And I also just don't have Photoshop, so I can't use it anyways. <laughs> And after editing them over and over and over again, I eventually settled on four complete photos. Two of them I'm going to be posting to my Instagram, and all four of them I'm going to be posting on my My Figure Collection page, since I'm just a lot less picky about what I post on there. So this next little tidbit, some of you might not care about, but it also might be helpful to some of you, so I'm just going to keep it in. But how I pick the first photo or the main photo on the Instagram post is I use this app called Preview. Basically, it just lets you see what your Instagram page is going to look like after you've posted a photo. This way, if you want to, you can plan what your feed will look like or see how the photo will complement the rest of the photos around it. I personally like to keep it kind of cohesive and complementary, so this is why I use that app. Yeah, if you're interested, I will guess I'll link the apps down below. I'm not affiliated with any of them, but I've just been, these are just the ones that I happen to use, okay? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not 100% happy with the photos I ended off with. I do like them, I do think that they're nice and kind of cool, but something about them is just kind of off, and I honestly kept on editing them over and over and over again, trying to make them completely perfect and trying to get them to what I would be happy with, and I just could not do that. And what finally got me to stop and settle down was the realization that this is what makes me different from a professional who has actual experience knowledge and technical knowledge and can best utilize a camera whereas I don't have that. I mean, I have a camera, not because I'm a photographer, but just because I had a lot of confirmation money in grade eight and Tumblr was a thing, so. <laughs> Having that realization that at my current skill level, this is what I can create made me kind of calm down and say, you know what, it's not that bad. <laughs> As well, I thought that I could redeem myself in the future by taking you guys along with me to find some real flowers and real scenery to take pictures of the figures with. That will be a future project though because right now in my area the snow has just melted so it is looking real ugly. <laughs> Final thoughts is that photography is so much fun. Like getting myself up to do it is like an effort, but once I actually get started with thinking of fun and creative ways to create a background with what I have available in the house, and as well getting it all set up and taking the photos and editing them and adjusting things, it is just such a fun process and I really, really would recommend that you guys have some fun with it as well. Honestly, you don't need some grand camera with grand lighting or anything like that. Just using your phone and some natural lighting could be just as great. The whole fun with it is finding things in your area, in your environment that you can use to take a cool photo with. So I really recommend that you guys also have some fun with that. Now, thank you so much to Josh and Mac for buying me a beer. That was super nice of you, thank you. I have a Twitter, Instagram of course, and Discord if you wanna check those out only if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. If you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Hena iro gomo, Hena iro goro romo. Hena iro 
Gororomo, Hana Iro Gorom, Hana Iro Gororomo, Hara Iro Goromo, Hara Iro Gomo, Hara Iro Goromo. Oh my god. Hana Hana Iro Gor Hana Iro Gororomo. Hana I Hana Iro Goromo. Hana Iro Goromo. We got the Hana Iro Goromo. Hana Iro Goromo. Hana Iro Hana Iro Goromo. Hana Iro Goromo. Ah! Look at that. Hanairo Garomo. Okay. 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 Hanairo Garomo. Okay. Alright. Okay. Hanairo Garomo. Okay. Oh my god. I'm still probably saying that wrong though.